Good morning, it's Mary Ellen from the channel Mary Ellen After 60. And today I'm here to do a collaboration video. I asked a really good friend of mine, Melissa Villanova, I think that's how she says her name. She's also known as Mel's Makeup Mayhan, but I just call her Melissa. I think I've been watching Melissa for about two years. I really enjoy her, I enjoy her channel. She is 20 years exactly younger than I am. And so the collaboration we're going to do is our perfect date night. So it's gonna be interesting to see what Melissa says is her perfect date night and what somebody 20 years older would choose. But first I wanna say a little bit about Melissa. I don't wanna to say too much, but uh, I think you'll, if you click on her channel, and watch her video and I will link it below. I think you will like her every bit as much as I do. I know she is in a caring profession. Uh, I, I know that she's from the New York area and now she lives in Florida. She has two children that are not high school age. So she has an entirely different life than I do, but we both share the love of makeup and she does really, really good reviews so much better than I do. Anyway, I thought you might enjoy meeting her, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with my perfect date night. I know I've said many times I don't listen to any rule. What I mean, I just don't think there should be rules when you're 63 years old on what you should do with your hair or your makeup or even your clothing. But when, I, when Jim and I go out and have a date, I do want to look kind of like how I know he likes me to look and, and he doesn't care he really doesn't care but I know he loves my hair pulled back when I got it cut short he said oh I'll miss you pulling your hair back you know and so I just pull brushed my hair back and put it behind my ears and put on a shirt and a scarf and I have a ton of scarves but this one just happens to be my favorite so the I'll talk about what we're going I was going to do a get ready with me and we didn't have any sun. We had some sun when I started filming and now it's gone in. So I don't use artificial lights. I don't use filters. I just look into my iPad and film. So with that being said, what I've done different today, I have on more eyeshadow than I normally wear. And I'll show you which what I have on. A dear friend bought me this palette and it is the Lorac Unzipped. I put this underneath my eyebrow this on my mobile lid, this in the crease, and this above the crease in the transition line. And I did put a little bit of the, this color right here on my uh, eyebrow, brow bone. So I used the top row here all with the exception of this color. I didn't use this one to, I didn't use this one today. I did a little bit of contouring, which I usually don't do. And I use this just underneath my cheekbone and blended it in, and that's all. <laughs> I did do that today. I just wanted to feel special. And as a highlighter today, I wanted to use, I have the Becca Opal, and I wanted to use that as a highlighter, and I couldn't find it. And I found something I love equally as much, almost. It's by Laura Geller, and it is the Baked Highlighter. I don't know if they sell this anymore, but it's French Vanilla, and it is just very subtle. I don't know if you can even tell it or not. But that's really the only thing special I did. I... Okay, so what would my perfect date night be? It would be going about an hour to a nearby city, going in the afternoon and walking around the downtown area. Uh, I love, and Jim loves, architecture. I love old old towns that or cities or whatever I do. I, I enjoy the architecture. I love it when the facade is still the same. And what we like to do is go to several restaurants. A lot of times we'll stop at one restaurant and he may have a drink. I may have, usually I have water. I'm pretty boring, but you know, about three times a year, I'd probably say I'd have a margarita, but it's just something that's not important to me. But I, we like to go and just kind of breathe in the atmosphere, take our time and just get to go to a different restaurant. And then after that, we would walk around some more and go to another restaurant and have an appetizer and enjoy the ambiance there and talk and just just enjoy each other and enjoy like I said the atmosphere so you're gonna guess the next thing we do is we'd walk around a little bit more and we'd end up going to dinner 
And by that time, a lot of times we order another appetizer or I tell you what, I'm not, I'm not as hungry as I used to be and neither is Jim. So a lot of times, you know, when you order a large meal, it's just too much, especially, well, for what I might have in mind later or what he might have in mind later, but I won't go there. <laughs> now it would be perfect if there was a piano playing during our, our, last stop, whether it's another appetizer or a meal. I love, I love piano music. I love, it's, it's been a while since I've been somewhere where there was a singer through dinner, but I love that. So after our dinner, we would just walk a little bit more and stop someplace where there's live music that we enjoy. And I would get him out on the dance floor. He, he may not think he wants to, but that's what I'd end up doing. And somewhere between appetizers and our main meal, I would ha I would remove my scarf. I'd kind of make my hair look a little bit better, so I look more appealing. So anyway, it is all good. I appreciate Melissa agreeing to do this with me. I hope you guys go check out her channel. I you will like her as much as I do, and I didn't say how beautiful she is, and she doesn't even have to put eye makeup on to, to have beautiful eyes. They're just beautiful, dark brown, just, just, she's just really a pretty, kind, and smart person. So it is all good. You guys have a great day, and I will see you in my next video, and that's where I will announce the winner of my two e-gift cards. This is a dear friend of mine bought me this, the Lorac Pro. I mean, not the. And then I have a little cleavage, and Jim appreciates that. He does. He likes, you know, 